don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell. You'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey everybody, we'd just like to take a moment to thank the guys over at SkySilk who made this video possible. SkySilk is a Linux-based cloud hosting platform built for developers with plans starting at just $2 a month, and they're currently giving every new sign-up a free $100 credit to try out the platform for 60 days. You can get started in just a few clicks over at SkySilk.com. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new episode of the Git series. And today I'm going to show you how to fork a repository and clone it and make changes and just like contribute to that repository so I'm gonna use our repository um, for sourcebot website I made and I'm gonna go here to the repository site then I'm gonna click fork uh, since I have it it's gonna say that I already have it forked so I'm just gonna go here once you're here you're gonna see that your that there's a new repository in your profile and it's a forked from the original repository okay so to work on your computer with this code you have to hit clone copy this um, this URL go to your git bash and type git clone and the repository link you just copy it hit enter and there you go your new folder is gonna be created named after the repository just open it and you're gonna see all the files right here now we have to go into that folder so I'm gonna use CD and source code source code enter and now we are in the master branch so I actually changed something to it I added a dark mode which is this file right here and some other changes so I, I'm just going to follow my rules that I made in the original repository and those are to create a branch so I'm gonna go create a branch so if you remember how to is git checkout dash v and the branch name which is gonna be feature dash I'm just gonna name it dark mode enter we are in the feature dark, dark mode um, branch right now so now I'm going to get started to see what I changed. There's nothing, nothing to commit. I was actually in the wrong folder because the one we just did is a new one and I have mine in another folder. So this time is gonna work. Okay, so we are on the, on the dark theme branch. I'm just gonna to get started. See what I modified, I modified this. Okay, it's good. So I get add everything, then get commit dash m added dark theme hit enter. Now you're gonna see that your commit that was successful. If it wasn't, it will show you how to fix it. Now before we continue, we have to set up our origin, and to do that, we have to copy this URL go here and type git remote add origin and then the URL you copied and hit enter it says origin already exists because I already have it set it up and now we also have to set up our upstream which is this the original repository so we just have go there copy the URL go back to our thing type git remote add upstream um, paste the URL hit enter and it's gonna say the same thing for me because I already have it okay now we have done that we it's time to push our changes to our fork not to the original repository because it, it's not gonna work since you might not have access to uh, to post updates to it so we're just going to do git push origin and the branch we have here which is the feature and dark theme hit enter it's gonna say that there's a new branch created so I'm just going to my fork and click here and you're gonna see that your branch is now here and to make a pull request 
we go back well we can just click here compare and pull request click it it's gonna go um, redirect you to the original repository it's gonna have the commit message here if you want to leave like some extra things you can just put it here and here is the original repository you can change it to whatever you want to whatever repository you want but make sure it's the original one and here is the the branch you want to merge your commit to and in this case I'm gonna choose master here is your repository and here is the branch you wanna you want to merge to the master branch so I'm going to create a pull request then your pull request is gonna get reviewed by the repository managers and if it's good to go they are going to merge your pull request since I have access to the code to change stuff I can I can click here to merge it and click confirm and you're gonna see that the pull request is successfully merged and closed now we can delete our branch the feature branch the dark theme branch we can delete it because we don't need it anymore so I'm just going to delete it and we can go back to the code of the original repository and you're gonna see that my pull request got merged and here we can see that it's the commit it's here add it dark theme if we go to our repository our fork you're gonna see that the master branch is gonna say that this branch is x commit um, x amount of commits behind the master branch from the original repository and you're gonna see that the branch we had is not here anymore so now we can we have to go to our PC or where you have your uh, local repository and here you have to delete this branch so I'm going to git branch dash D and this branch name which is feature dark theme hit enter um, I'm inside the branch so I have to check out check out master master and now delete it now if we go here we're gonna see that the files I had it's not are not there so we have to pull them from the upstream that's why we added there before so type git pull upstream upstream and the branch name which in this case was master hit enter and you're gonna see that if you go back the dark theme is here dark theme so but that's not it we have to push those changes here and the way I know how to do that is git push origin master hit enter go back to your repository refresh and you're gonna see that this branch is even with the master branch from the original repo okay that was it guys for today um i hope you learn how to contribute to a repository um if people are going to contribute to you you can you also learn that today well kind of <laughs> you saw that i can click the merge branch and you just have to review the commit messages um the changes that were, were done to your repository and if you want to merge it just merge it you can also change um for which branch you want to merge it i think but yeah that's you you just have you just have to click around go around with it well yeah that's it uh, i think this is gonna be the last episode i might have i might have another plans for this kit series maybe add a, an advanced one but i don't know i don't think so this is okay for today so see you on the next videos and give a like subscribe and see you around <laughs>